we're gonna do now is knead while it's baking. But yeah, so we have it spooled. <laughs> Don't lose the bread. Hey guys, welcome back to Allie Can Cook featuring Mama McManus. Hi, I'm Mama McManus. And I'm Allie, and on today's episode of Allie Can Cook, we are going to be showing you guys how we make vegan bread, both a sweet bread and a savory bread. Right. And it's that time of year, so fresh bread is really a lot of fun, and there's only a few simple ingredients to this recipe. Yeah. So if you guys want to see how we make our vegan bread, keep watching. So for the savory bread, you want to get a large bowl and add in one and a half cups of warm water. Not hot and not cold, but warm so that the yeast will, will uh, rise. Yeah, and be able to activate. Without killing it. We don't want to kill the yeast. And then what we want to do is we want to put in a half a teaspoon of yeast. Sprinkle that in. And then we need three quarters of a teaspoon of salt. I don't have a three quarter measuring, so I'm going to do three one quarter of the salt. And you want to be precise in your measurement whenever you're baking because it's, it's science. And then we want to do three and a half cups of flour. And then we are just going to mix the savory bread together until it all combines. We want to get all the flour. So see, we want to get all the flour mixed in here. Once you've kind of formed it into a ball in your bowl, you're going to want to cover it with a tea towel. A tea towel first. Green tea towel first. And then a plastic bag on top of that. Yeah, just, just to keep it warm. And you don't want to smother it. It's just kind of like black on top. And then I'm just going to put it beside the stove. Yeah. To rise for three hours. For the sweet bread, you're going to do the exact same steps as we did for the savory bread, except this time we are going to add in two tablespoons of cinnamon and then also one tablespoon of brown sugar. Alrighty, so now that we have both of our breads covered and rising, we're going to let them rise for three hours. So now's a great time to do your dishes, watch TV, do homework if you're me. <laughs> have a cup of tea, read a book if you're me. <laughs> so much rhyming. Three hours later. I so about three hours has passed now and both of our breads have rose and filled up pretty much the bottom of each bowl. That's why you have to use a big bowl when you're prepping it. So what we're going to do now is knead the bread into the shape that we want on a sheet of parchment paper with flour and then let it stand for 40 minutes. So we're going to start with the savory bread just because we have to add in our savory ingredients. So for the savory bread, I'm cutting up about six cloves of garlic that we're going to put into the bread. You want to cover your hands in flour as well. Right now, I'm just pulling together the dough uh, from the from the bowl, so it's like this. And then I'm going to knead it a little bit with the flour and stretch it out so that it's going to be a flat bread for us. I'm just going to make it into the shape that we need it to be. But it needs a little bit of flour because it's sticky. And then we want to just pull it out. have the shape that you want of your bread, so we've lined ours out to be more like a flat bread, you're going to want to get some olive oil and just a brush. Paint over the bread with the olive oil. Lightly. Lightly. We don't want to like make it too oily. Right, because then it will soak in and it will be a sloppy olive oil mess. After we have brushed over the olive oil, you want to just stick some cloves of garlic along the bread. But right in. But yeah, you want to make sure you get them in deep so they don't poke out afterwards. And then you're just going to sprinkle with some oregano leaves on top. And that's it. You don't want to put this in the oven just yet. We're going to let it stand for about 40 minutes. We're going to do the exact same thing for the cinnamon bread now. So I'm just kneading it together in the, in the, bowl. In the bowl first. 
Don't want to over touch it yet. And then I'm going to lift it up, bring it onto our flat surface. And this bread, we're going to make it into like a nice rising loaf. And then we're going to let that sit for 45 minutes. For 45 minutes. Later. This is the last thing we do before we put it in the oven. We slice it so that the air can escape while it's baking. The flatbread is, is, is fine. We don't have to do that with it because we put the garlic in and that's yeah. allowed enough air to, to breathe. So, so into the oven for 25 to 30 minutes and we got bread. Yes. One eternity later. So we're just gonna let these cool for about 10 minutes before we cut into them and try them. But so far everything looks um, perfect. Alrighty guys, so that is how you make vegan sweet bread and savory bread. We're gonna eat it like the French do, with no butter and no oils to fully taste the flavor of the bread. Darn. <laughs> so we'll dig in now, let's do savory first. Sure. Okay, here we go. Mmm, this is very good. Fluffy. Mm -hmm. Flavorful. Mm -hmm. The oregano is a good coffee. Yeah, it would be like a really nice bread to bring to a dinner party or a holiday party coming mm -hmm. up. Perfect with spaghetti sauce. Or even with our soup we did last week. Yeah, with cauliflower soup. Yeah, that would be delicious in that. Okay, this is good. Mm -hmm. All right, ready for that one. The and sweet now, bread now. Sort of like a breakfast bread. Mm -hmm. I kind of envision this, us eating it with like a little bit of jam or butter. What do you think? Mm -hmm. This is really good. Mm -hmm. It's not too sweet, but it has the flavor. Mm -hmm. If you do like a sweeter bread, you can always add in more sugar, but I personally like the subtle hints of it. And the cinnamon comes through, lovely. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, well, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. We make new videos every single Thursday, and we will see you guys next week. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. I really like this. Yeah, I gotta make dinner. Guys, I'm home hungry. Hungry Good like a bear.